A CDC advisory panel is set to meet this morning to weigh in on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. As you know, it has been on hold after six women developed rare blood clots. The CDC says it is also looking into new mass guidelines. We're going to get into that with NIH Director Dr. Francis Collins. But first, Steve Wilson Sami starts us off at CDC headquarters in Atlanta. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Michael. The health officials here who are making this decision today are in a tough spot, trying to put safety first, but at the same time, trying not to scare Americans away from using these vaccines. Today is the day a panel of experts put together by the CDC is expected to decide whether people should keep using the single dose Johnson and Johnson COVID vaccine. It's a key tool in ending the pandemic, but U.S. health officials put use of the vaccine on hold last week when six women got sick with rare blood clots after getting the shot. And this morning, the CDC says it's investigating a handful of new cases. 18-year-old Emma Berkey from Clark County, Nevada, is one of the six women who struggled with blood clots after getting the vaccine. A family spokesperson says she's just now starting to recover. She's improving. Her condition is improving uh, day by day. It's going to be long. It's going to be slow and it's going to be incremental. She had several seizures days after her shot. At the hospital, they had to put her in a medically induced coma and she needed three brain surgeries. But the doctors underlined that it's not clear if this was caused by the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Despite it all, her family says they still want Americans to get vaccinated. The family understands that these blood clots are rare, just six cases out of nearly 7 million Americans who've gotten this particular vaccine. I keep in mind that's a less than one in a million rate. Uh, that's so smaller than your rate of uh, your likelihood of actually getting hit by lightning. Fewer Americans are now rushing to get vaccinated. The daily average of shots put into arms is now below 3 million a day for the first time in weeks. And scientists have put together this map. The areas in darker blue show where Americans are resisting the vaccine the most. The panel today could make a number of recommendations. They could decide to keep things the same, or they could join European officials who have cleared the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for use, but put a safety warning. Or they could say that only certain populations should use this vaccine. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.